All right, let's take another look at the Raspberry Pi 5. Uh, I have it running. It's connected to a rather small monitor, so the resolution, you know, is not like 4K. I think it's like 1600 by, I don't know, 800 or so. <clears throat> uh, but that's just kind of my testing setup here. And I have the Dragon OS Pi 64 image now uploaded to SourceForge. So if you look in the description, I'll link to it. That image uh, is running uh, for me fine, anyways, uh, either on a Pi a 5 or a Pi 4. In this case, again, just to show, uh, I got a Raspberry Pi 5B with uh, 8 gigabytes of RAM and nothing special. Still waiting for the case to show up. Uh, and for this video, we'll just take a look at SDR Connect. Uh, pretty easy to add. There was a preview 2 that was put out by SDR Play. And so I have a USB 2 hooked up to the RSP Play RSP DX. And so I'll show a couple of things when you flash uh, Dragon OS Pi 64 to your SD card. One of the things uh, which I put in the little getting started that you need to do, let me see, if you look in the user source, there is the SDR Play uh, as well as the um, SDR Connect, which now thinking about it, I think I actually did include it in the image, uh, but I leave it on the user to install because you have to agree um, to, to, to use it and stuff. So hopefully that's not an issue, but uh, that is, uh, looks like it's in there. And if we do, do a sudo and install the API because it's not installed by default. That's why you'll see some um, errors popping up when you're running uh, Soapy and, and everything else. Uh, and if you don't want SDR Play support, uh, well then you would have to uh, remove the uh, Soapy, uh, Soapy module basically. <clears throat> but in this case I'm going to install the service and so the API uh, should be running now. Let's do a uh, Soapy SDR utility. We can see we can find the RSP DX. So everything seems fine. I was going to go through and show, uh, you know, of course you'd go to SDR Connect on the SDR Play site and you scroll down, click on uh, Linux, and eventually you can uh, get the, uh, the file download under ARM64. But it looks like I've already included the at least the, uh, the run in the image. So let's just do sudo sdr connect slash. So if anyone out there, you know, if you have your Pi 5 and you want to get up and running with sdr play equipment, um, this is actually the first time trying it. So should be fine. I just leave everything default here. Create a menu entry, sure. And we'll see if that actually did add a menu entry. That could be something that I need to do after the fact. SDR. Hmm. Not seeing it. But if we go into the op <clears throat> SDR connect. We can see our uh, basically binary or executable is there. So I'll take a look at that. Maybe there might not be a shortcut. Easy to create under uh, applications, uh, a desktop shortcut. Hmm. Actually, let's just do that right now. User share applications. And we'll do a, <clears throat> let's see, what can we copy? We'll copy SDR++ to SDR Connect Desktop. And let's edit that SDR Connect. SDR, SDR, 
connect. And we know it's in PT, SDR connect, SDR connect. There's maybe an icon for it, but we'll just leave that blank for right now. Control O, Enter X, save that. Come over here, should reload. Right there, SDR connect. So we started up SDR connect. It does find the RSP DX. Well, that's good. And actually, this is my first time really looking at the new interface here, or at least the preview 2. And let's see, band. So I have the U loop hooked up to here. So you have your different uh, modulation types, filter presets. I'm trying to see where is sample rate. Let's see. Aha. So you got your sample rates. I'm just out of curiosity. I just want to see how it is at 10 mega samples per second. I'm just putting HTOP on here. Bear with me a second. Hmm. And I am using that VNC server, so that's probably adding into some uh, usage here. And I don't, uh, unfortunately, have uh, anything set up to do audio right now because the Pi 5, uh, the little audio jack is now gone and this little monitor does not have HDMI audio, unfortunately. I probably could have set up Rust Desk and streamed over audio. But anyways, that's super, super simple. Pi 5, you want to get up and running with the... Uh, SDR play equipment and you want to try out SDR connect flash uh, an SD card you probably get away with a 16 gigabyte nowadays uh, I think I made the image a little smaller but probably best to do a 32 gigabyte SD card with Dragon OS Pi 64 just use uh, etcher or you know Raspberry Pi imaging tool check the hash of the image that you download from SourceForge just to make sure it's good uh, default logins Ubuntu and Dragon and um, you know set up you're gonna at least at least need to boot it like once and unfortunately either have a monitor or I hate to say it uh, pull the power plug it in again uh, for SSH to get set up with unique keys and then you can SSH in uh, let me think what else uh, yeah you'll have the file system will expand and yeah it seems to work uh, okay I haven't had too many issues but you want to jump to the newest pie? There you go. All right. Thanks.